Hey, Kaika, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, so let's talk about stamina because uh, September is going to be a great month for you. Uh, yeah. First, uh, a book about the band is going to be released. And in the same week, also your 10th album, Axe, is yeah. going to be released. Uh, so what can you tell? Let's start with the album. What can you tell about the album? Hmm. Uh, uh, the album is about, it's kind of a, also kind of a historic uh, review of all of our past albums in a way. Of, of, of course, in the at the same time, it's completely something new. So uh, okay. I think it will be quite interesting. Okay, let's wait to to hear what are the differences with the previous work. I think that yeah. uh, in uh, in those almost thirty years, <laughs> because it was nineteen six when the band start. I think yeah. that you experiment quite a lot with your music so there is a lot of different influences in uh, in the songs and in the albums but yeah they are all great <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> so you you so said to to make music and that's that's the important part uh, yeah and and we always try to do it that the uh, new, newest album uh, or whenever is it it's about the new album it, it wouldn't be something as like we have just done before we have always tried to create something new to the music and of course and with the lyrics so uh, yeah that's now the now there's some flash flashes from the past also okay nice and what yeah. what about the book that is coming on twenty seventh of September? Well, actually, uh, I just I just like an hour ago read the uh, I don't know it's not maybe final version but one of the final versions about it and uh, it's uh, written by Ari Vantanen, uh, Finnish. Finnish writer who has also wrote the, for example, the Stone, the band, okay. uh, yeah, biography, and uh, I think it's really good. Uh, Ari has, uh, uh, Ari has gotten the kind of the soul of the band into the book, and it's all at the same time it's very like uh, lots of statistic and uh, lots of. Uh, historic uh, events with, uh, within the band's history. So uh, I think it's really, very well written and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that people will like it also. It's an interesting story of the band. I'm going to buy when it's, it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so I can read everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh... What I and yeah, uh, it's 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 in Finnish at the moment. I, I'm not sure is, is will there be a, a translation to English or anything, but I, I'll I'll hope so. But uh, at the moment, it's only in Finnish. You anticipate we... my question because it was uh, are it going to be an English version so, since you have a lot of fans around the world also. Yeah, yeah, we we Let's sure see. hope to do it. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, now you you are doing some some summer festivals, and then you yeah. have a, a tour after the summer. Uh, yeah, in Finland, are you planning other gigs after the 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 first tour, like in the winter? And are you planning also some some tour outside of Finland? Uh, we are always hoping to. A tour inside of uh, inside outside of Finland, of course, but uh, at the moment there's nothing like uh, locked. So uh, 
we are still working on it but uh i think uh with the summer and the new album and then the rest of the year like uh october november december when we are touring finland i think we will have a small uh small break uh, in the beginning of the next next year because this year has been quite rough yeah but enjoyable <laughs> yeah okay so let's uh take few steps quite a lot of few steps back uh in your story with stamina because you were not the the, the best player at the beginning uh, you you were the the bus driver or the the driver for the band uh how happened that you became the the bus player yeah uh we shared the rehearsal place at lemmy uh something like uh, from uh na- 1999 till 205 or something and uh i we we get to know with the guys and uh after i i turned 18 in uh 2003 and the guys uh, stamina guys had has had some gigs with mokoma then uh, i have just gotten my uh, driver's license so uh auntie asked me me to join the mini mini tour but uh and actually uh it was like three gigs and and then maybe one or two in 2004 but uh the guys were were familiar and uh we have had some to shows together with my old band and stuff like that so uh, i think uh, that was a big deal for the guys to ask me when when they when they released their debut album in 2005 and they needed the bass player for the kicks because they didn't have a bass player they had this cd player <laughs> where the bass came from uh, live so uh they 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 needed a new guy and uh, I was familiar with them and also from Lemmy so uh, I think that was it. it was easy yeah 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 so you played a lot of gigs during yeah. those years uh, if I ask you don't remember how many <laughs> for sure because there are so many but uh, I, you you mean from two thousand and five yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I don't think that you can remember. <laughs> if you remember, then you have a great memory. <laughs> I at at some point I I actually remembered that uh it was uh, like uh 12th of more March 2005 when we played La Peranta. I, I, I remember some of those dates, but uh oh, I think there must be something like something like a thousand the thousand kicks i think i I think it it the thousand has been broke but uh not sure how how many top the thousand so uh yeah i don't yeah but a lot of kicks a lot of kicks but which one is uh, by which one was the most memorable and the why Mm. <clears throat> well, if I, well, of course, the one, uh, the the last show in two thousand and five when we played at Tavastia, when the guys asked me to join the band, band's official member, so that of course, uh, then there are like uh, there are so many gigs that. They kind of blend together, but uh, I I remember one one I I think it was our first show in Torvi Lahti, and the, it's a small venue, and it was packed and it was so hot and people are like hanging from the ceilings uh, ceiling and uh, it was really crazy gig, and then of course some gigs like. Uh, 
first gigs we have done outside of Finland are of course really important. Uh and th then we are, we have played some really big festivals in Finland also. So uh like Tuska, Ilosaari yeah. and stuff like that. So uh it's there are there are really really much of those good memories. Yeah. I can figure that there are a lot. It's hard to choose just one. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I if I have the just one choose, uh, then I'd say the Viimane Atlantis uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, years ago. So that was that was in that was so important gig and in so many ways. So after after all the pandemic shit and stuff, actually it was between the pandemic, but uh. But uh, we get to we get to finally do it. So uh, it was it was it, a it really was postponed. Wasn't Sorry, it post wasn't it postponed the, that gig? Yeah, it was like uh, two times, maybe at least two times, or was it even? It I I, I think so it was in March. Uh, 2021 i guess so uh i think it was it was maybe the fourth date to the gig okay. or something like that i so, think that we had an interview for the offering website uh, this the summer before i'm not yeah. sure anymore i'm not sure anymore and we were talking that maybe the gig was going to be in september yeah 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 and then or then yeah like this yeah and then then when it started to look bad once again we we just like moved it from september to the to november and we got to do it and after after november it was all about these restrictions again yeah. and every everything was closed again yeah and women and atlantis is uh they Maybe my favorite album so far. Okay. I'm not cool. sure, but I think that uh, it, it's up there in my most important albums that of my life. So, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, it's Thank in. You. I I think in the top five or in the top ten. I I don't remember. I once I wrote what what are the, those albums, but. Maybe I should write again and check and think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was... top, top 10 is good from us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but let's talk about your other projects because you have other bands going on. You have, uh, yeah. you find time to play in other bands. <laughs> so that's, that's impressive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I do. But uh, it's like the the other bands are not quite so active as Tamina. So uh, it, it, yeah, but yeah. So, so tell us more. How many bands are you playing at the moment? Yeah. Uh, I uh, I have the new band Hyljetyt, uh, which uh we did our first gig uh last uh well, last month in Alper Hose Fest and we published our first album uh in this la last Thanks. spring and we are planning to do some gigs at September with the guys. Uh then we then we have this Elakon Elama which is actually I am after this interview. I am I am going to the rehearsals. Hey, and uh, <laughs> it's more like uh, we have recorded for yeah. albums or self released, what whatever they are. But uh, uh it's more like uh, let's just have some fun and kind of a, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, kind of a. Not maybe humor project, but uh something like just have fun project. Project yeah. and uh, and then there is the Ateco band, uh, which we have recorded like uh, three three albums also, but uh 
we haven't been able to do gigs together. And actually, we we were supposed to do like a couple of weekends, but then the COVID hit, so uh, we haven't done anything since that. So hoping also that we can do something with that. Yeah, group. let's hope. Finger crossed. <laughs> yeah. 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 So let's go to metal. So how you got into metal music? Mm. Uh, I think I was like around uh, 10 years or something uh, and uh, when my cousin uh, he he copied me the albums of uh, Offspring and Green Day and also one album from Biohazard and uh, the, well they are of of spring and green they are punk but uh the biohazard was one step like a heavier and with all those hardcore influences some i I think some metal influences also and uh uh that was kind of of the spark and uh then we have uh we had in library where i live the small town in lemmy there was like two metal CDs. It was Metallica's Black Album and some album from Iron Maiden. I don't remember okay. what. But the, there was something interesting in that genre. And uh, and it, it was kind of a bubbling under for me. At the point, I was more, more maybe into the trap, skate punk and stuff like that but uh the metal was there all the time and uh at the last last and the final hit blow was definitely uh children of Boodum. yeah and that's that's where it all started yeah. i think that uh, for many of us uh, millennials at least uh, uh we grow up listening to quite a lot of those punk rock bands because they yeah. were they were on the the, the radio on the music yeah. TV uh, that at the time was a thing <laughs> yeah so, yeah yeah and they they actually played music so yeah and uh, also in the middle sometimes there was th- th- there were some metal band uh, and for example, I have no idea what I was listening as a genre of music. I was just listening to whatever whatever was on the TV. And uh, if I think back at time, even if I had no I- idea about metal music, I was listening some new metal <laughs> or uh, yeah. Metallica came up and yeah, I was enjoying. And I was al- always on the, you know, those... Uh, sad part of the music even uh, if it was pop everything that is sad is good <laughs> I don't know maybe yeah. I have a problem yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. but, uh, yeah I think that it's uh, it, it it was different back then but it was yeah, yeah. beautiful I, in, a, in a certain way yeah yeah and I, I remember there was also uh, was it 90 95 something like that uh we had uh in finland we have this tv so so called jyrki which yeah. played so music videos from kind of all over the world that there was sepultura pantera and then there was like uh, lots of pop and uh 80s rock and stuff like that so uh, that was that was a good place to learn uh, different music and and one of the uh, cool things was also when I was a teenager uh, Ulex was back in the days called Radio Mafia and uh, okay. it was the, the there was Klaus Flaming's Metal Elite translated roughly like Metal Union uh, show I think it was like every Wednesday from eight to ten or something like that evening evening and uh two hours just like 
really different metal from all all over the world. So uh, I I also had I I I had always the C C cassette uh, player ready and just recorded everything that yeah. <laughs> that were yeah. played. So that was that was really important, uh, like a crowd with the metal community yeah. also. Do you still have those cassettes? Ah, yeah. That, that uh, I, I have a collection of those old cassettes, but uh, I I think when also back in the days when we were rehearsals, we have rehearsals with my old band. Uh, there was only way to record the new songs just for us to remember was uh recorded with those same cassettes and uh because they i don't know if were they expensive or not but uh it was in in the style of the time that we just like uh, recorded over and over those yeah. old tapes so uh, i don't know is there any like metal elite stuff anymore in those cassettes but i'm sure there are a lot of uh, cassettes with <laughs> with our old bands okay. uh, rehearsal stuff so uh, that's cool Maybe to keep that, and uh, yeah, make, uh, that, listen, listen to those and think. Yeah, that should be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your favorite band or artist? Mm -hmm. There are so many. Uh, I just can't say. Yeah one if i if i had to choose one maybe it would be like a children of podom or something because the influence on me was so so big back in the days uh i i still think it's a really good band uh but uh also like uh, bands like in flames in uh end of the 19s early 2000 was one of the biggest for me but uh there are so much good yeah. music in the world so uh, picking just one yeah would it's be, hard uh, almost it's, impossible it's yeah. yeah uh let's talk about gigs when was the first gig that you saw mm. I think it was uh, something like uh, um, 96 or 97 uh, and it was uh, Helsinki's Olymp Olympic Station Stadium uh, and uh, it was uh, Bon Jovi. Okay. Was, nice. I think the band was doing the These Days tour or something like that. And then was the there was also uh, Babylon Two, which had the Spaceman <laughs> song, <laughs> and uh, Finnish band Lemonator was also here to warm up the okay. show. But that 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 has to be the first really big concert yeah. that I have seen, and then maybe the next ones are something like uh, in in La Peranta or in Lemmy, like uh, those band band evenings where you can see lots of local bands. Okay, yeah. Uh, so far, thinking, I think that you have also touring with the band, you have seen uh, a lot of artists on the stage. Um, so far, which one was the most impressive, the best show that you ever seen? Mm. Well, that's a tough one. Uh, I remember some, maybe it was in 2002 when I was, I was not playing there, but I was in the audience uh, in Ilosar Rock. And I think it maybe was the first gig of first Finland gig from Raised Fist 
Okay. And that was that was really good. That was really intense and really good. And I I have seen them a couple of times after that. Maybe in Mikkeli, maybe 2007 or something like that. It was also really good. Okay. Uh, then I just saw uh, Rancid in the uh, rock, rock Fest in Hyvinkää yeah. last month. It was really, really good. And uh, I remember one gig from Sigur Ross back in the days. And... Uh, Oh, there's too many. <laughs> also, <Yeah. laughs> hard to say, but yeah. now let's go to the question that there is just one question for you from your fan, okay. uh, and uh, this one is is wrote in Italian, so I have to translate. <laughs> um, from all the songs from all the albums of uh, Stamina. Which one uh, is uh, the most important, the one that has the most uh, um, meaning for you? Whoa. Yeah, we like, we have some something like 100 songs <laughs> at <Yeah>. the moment. <laughs> and they, and they, they will be soon 10 more. So... Uh, I don't know. E easy, easy answer would be something for something from our second album because that was the first one I was in. But uh, I don't know. It it's just just so like uh, it it depends maybe which day or which week or which month it's, okay. it's so uh, <laughs> yeah it's just it's, uh, it's really hard to say it's it's so all it's are really, important oh, yeah yeah all of them all of them yeah. <laughs> sorry for the boring answer <laughs> so now it's time to check the take this jar open it and uh, take some random random topic let's see what oh, we are talking yes. we are talking about books so books. do you like to read yes i do uh and i try to read at as as much as i can but uh and uh some sometimes you just don't have the feeling to read but uh, i i've tried to keep it in my life because uh it's all all we do that is out from just watching our phones is <laughs> good for you so uh yeah yeah i i really like to read and try to do it as much as possible uh what kind of uh, books do you like mm. well actually uh Last one actually, it's, it's right here. It's uh, it's in Finnish, but uh, it, it's the happiest man in the world. In the world, and it's about uh, it's a book about Holocaust survival, and it's okay. and like the way of way of hitting with the world, and it was really well, yeah, it was sad of course, but uh, he, I think he was uh. This guy was 100 years old when he wrote that book and became okay. a brother. So uh, it was really inspire inspiring also. Uh, that was the latest one, but uh, mm, I, I, I don't like to like put any limits to it, what, what I read that what I don't read. I like uh, sometimes I enjoy like uh, maybe a biography from some hockey player or just or just plain fiction or what whatever so uh, how do you like... choose the book for example I, when i go to a bookstore i just go around without uh, thinking that i want except if i know that i want a certain book but sometimes i just go around and then i pick the one that i feel i don't know what happened i just 
see the the, the cover and uh, this seems something that I could enjoy then I read on the back and then uh, 90 percent of the time I take home the book <laughs> so how yeah. does it work well, for you well actually quite the same way I I try to use our library at as much as I can and uh Sometimes I get good uh, recommendations from from my friends, but sometimes I just go and see what's new or or, or in the music section that I haven't read this or I haven't read that. So, uh, so it's it's all about the feeling. Sometimes hmm. there is a feeling that now now a band biography would be good, and sometimes you just want to read something completely di different. So, uh, it's how it's much all about time. Feeling. How much uh, 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 how much time does it take to read a book? Are you one of those person that uh, like me start to read a book and cannot stop and then have to watch okay maybe now I have to go to sleep <laughs> or are uh, are you someone that take long time to read? Uh, I I read fast. I when I started I just like everything around me <laughs> fades away and that I, I have to have like a like alarm in my phone that uh, remember to eat, remember to walk the dog, go to sleep. <laughs> so uh, yeah. so uh, yeah, and uh, and if it's a good book, it likes uh, swallows you in the story. That's true. Uh, I I read I read one bu book that was it was it wasn't maybe it was like four hundred five hundred pages pages, but uh. It was about the uh, in Finland we have the veikkaus. It's like uh, the gambling, we, yeah, gambling, illegal gambling yeah. thing, which was a kind of a monopoly in here. And it was really uh, inspiring and interesting book, but it was so much statistics. So uh, then, when when there are too many numbers and too many statistics and all all that that kind of stuff, it's it's then it's it hard. then it gets hard to read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I did it. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite book? Hmm. Well, the I think uh, the 1984 from George or Orwell is at least one of my favorites. Uh, and yeah, and maybe, well, of course, I have to say Viemen Atlantis from Antti. It yeah. was so cool to read it. And uh, hmm, there must be some something that I forget right now. Well, those two are quite a cute important. <laughs> yeah so let's pick another let's see if we are if we are fast <laughs> yeah so serious so do you like to watch netflix or tv some serious i like and i don't like because uh, uh same thing when you Ooh. start you can stop yeah yeah oh, and I actually have the same no problem Problem. Yeah, I nowadays I have to do it like that. That if I'm on, if I'm considering starting a new series, I just have to look how many uh, seasons they are. Because and if if they're like uh, uh, six seasons and uh, each season has ten episodes and each episode is like 60 minutes uh, i'm just counting the calendar like that i don't fucking have time for anything else so, uh, <laughs> so uh yeah but i i do enjoy movies and movies and series of of yeah. course since, since i was the, what's the best series that in your opinion ever the best one ever best one ever uh i really enjoyed uh the Sopranos, it was, I, I watched it as, uh, I think it was on TV when I was like a teenager and, and afterwards I, I bought them the DVD boxes to myself. I haven't watched it in a long time, 
Man, just yeah. because that's because it, it, it takes so much time. Yeah. Uh, then, well, I have to say The Simpsons, because that was the first first series I I fell in love when I was a kid. And I like, uh, I taped to the we, we, VHS cassette all of the like the episodes yeah. from TV and what's it all over again. I I still can almost like I I know the <laughs> I, I know everything from my memory like from the season one to season eight or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. And uh, that said, uh, Simpson Simpsons is the greatest in in one way but uh most uh, if, if when it comes to animation maybe i like more south park also okay they, yeah, they, yeah those two guys are they are geniuses yeah yeah so let's um, talk yeah. about pizza now what's okay. your favorite pizza favorite pizza yeah uh i try i am trying to be vegan so uh that that excludes a lot of a lot of options but uh i i still sometimes i when i like to try when i have new new pizzeria or something like that and i like to try how good the pizza is i usually take the margarita pizza yeah unless Nothing unless good. it's there unless uh, if someone has like really said good good words about it's the places vegetarian pizzas or vegan yeah. pizzas but uh Mar- margarita is a classic but uh now with the mm, if i make pizza home i think uh in finland we have the uh, what's it called maybe San- santo satan uh yeah it's kind of a, it's kind of a vegan uh met met first what's it called uh is there an I don't know, it but not. it's vegan. Uh, vegan fake meat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that's the one main uh, ingredient that that I put put it in a pizza, and uh, I don't know if I should say it say it because you are Italian, but I do like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> that was the next question. So for you, pineapple on pizza is a yes. Yeah. And you are the first one to put uh, the the vote on the pineapple on pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now we have two no and one yes. Let's see the next interview. What's gonna happen? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but we have okay. uh, we are at the end of this interview. Thank you so much for your time. It was really a pleasure. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. I hope, I hope you have a great day, and uh, I hope to see you soon live. Uh, during yeah, the- yeah, we we still have a couple of summer gigs, and then we drive around the Finland 